Hello, my dear friends. I hope you guys are doing well, doing great and staying fit and healthy. Now, after a successful season of push, pull and legs, I am back with a bang with season two. But before that, if you are watching this on YouTube, do not forget to download the CullFit app for more amazing programs and sessions. My name is Rahul. Let's get onto your warm up right now. The warm up is going to be the usual. We're going to hit four movements, 30 seconds of each movement, all right? And then once we are done with that, we're going to do something which will elevate our heart rate and get you completely ready for today's workout. All right, so the first one is going to be inchworm walk. It's not new. You guys know this drill, but let me show you how to do this, all right? I'm going to go to the end of the mat. I'm going to bend forward, keep my palms down, and then I'm going to walk all the way keeping my core nice and tight, all right? And then I come back up. And this will do for 30 seconds. I know you guys are ready. You guys are excited. I am as well. So let's get this going. Warm-up number one, PPL season two. With me, Rahul, let's go in three, two, and one. Go for it. All right, now this mobility drill can be done by anybody with any level of fitness, all right? Just make sure that you hit the range properly, keeping your knees slightly soft and your shoulders on top of your palms, bracing the core. You come up. We are about 25 seconds into this. Just one more and we are good. Oof, feeling good, right? Next up, what do we have? We are gonna get into that mat once again, into a high plank. We're gonna hit some shoulder taps with thoracic spine rotations. Okay, so high plank. We're gonna tap our shoulders, keeping that core tight again. And from here, rotate upward and upward, okay? If you wanna scale this down, you can always keep your knees down and do the same movement as well. We ready? Let's go in three, two, and one. One, two, rotate upward. Rotate upward. Okay, once again, tap and tap, up and up. Now, when you're doing this, ensure that your palms are under your shoulders always, all right? Your core is nice and tight. You're in control. 10 more seconds. Excellent, all right. Almost done and yeah, that was a quick one to finish off on both the sides. Let's see what we have next. We're going to do some bent over YTW raises, okay? And this is to really, really activate your upper back. Bent over position is going to be a hip hinge pattern, all right? So you push your hips back, keeping your knees soft, flat back. From here, drop your arms down. Then retract your scapula, all right? I want you all to do this. Retract your scapula, open up your shoulder blades. Then you do a Y down. T and then a W. Yeah, all right, let's go do this. Three, two, and one. A Y, T, and a W. All right, every time you make these alphabets, you breathe up. T and W. And what are we doing with the shoulder blades? We're retracting, you're pulling your shoulder blades back. See the activation. Nice. Now, this is something that you can do daily as well. All right. Last one, come on. Y, T, and W, Ooh, all right. Feeling good, aren't we? Okay, now we're gonna finish off the first round of mobility with this great full body movement. We call it the step froggers. From the high plank position, I'm gonna step forward with my left leg outside my left palm, back, right leg outside my right palm, and back. Like I said, it's called a step frogger, so we're gonna take one step at a time. Okay, we're ready, let's go. Open up your chest as you step forward. Now this place is great. Feeling good, feeling that nice core temperature, which has risen up. 10 more seconds, really activating all the joints making sure that the blood is pumping to every corner of my body. <sighs> Almost done, and there you are. 
So that was the first round. Let's quickly get the second round as well with the inchworm walk. Ready, team? Let's do this. All right, come on. Three, two, and one. Walk, 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 walk. And back. Okay, once again. All right. Now, season one, done and dusted. That was for two weeks. But you know what was good about season one? Six workouts in a week, all right? But at the same time, it can be a bit tedious, right? Considering we all have busy schedules, right? So this time we decided we'll go five sessions in a week and extend that to four weeks in total. All right, we're done with the shoulder taps with T-spine rotation. Okay, we're ready for this as well. Let's go. One, two, up and up. Remember, knees down as well okay that's a choice that you have okay great great come on abs are working hard we're staying balanced improving spinal health as well which is super important almost done there you are Okay, you gotta be honest. Tell me when I ask you this right now. You're feeling the heat, you're feeling the sweat. If you are, you are getting ready for today's workout. Okay, now bent over YTW. Hip hinge, okay, push your hips back. Knees soft once again, retract your shoulder blades. Let's go. Y, T, W. With me, breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Stay with me now. Y. All right. Come on. T next. T. W. Okay. Let's go again. Y. T. W. Nice. Ten more seconds. <sighs> Breathe out. Exhale. 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 Once more. Quick one. And there you go. All right. Now before we go on to the next one, I'm just going to quickly pick up the towel. Wipe off the sweat. Wow. This is getting really nice getting really groovy all right now step frog is coming up Whew. okay let's go three two and one open up your chest open up your chest okay this this is not about moving really fast but really increasing that range improving on that range of motion that's what you want to target Breathe out. Quick look at the clock. One last rep, and that's 30 seconds done. Okay. All right. Now, if the mobility and warm-up is like this, you can imagine what we're gonna what we're gonna do, right? In the main workout. But before we hit the main workout, we still have a minute of movement, which is gonna prime your heart rate. It's gonna make your heart rate go up a little bit. We're gonna do everyone's simple favorite movement, the jumping jacks, all right? We're gonna do this for one whole minute. Ah, for all you, you know, uh, people uh, who've been doing the sessions with us, with everybody else, Shwe, Suvini, Niran, all right? Jumping jacks is our go-to. Really simple to do, all right? So this is how we do. One, two, three. Option to scale on your toes. Be a little bouncy, all right? Okay, one whole minute. Let's go. Three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, five. And keep going. Okay, step, step, step. All right? Come on, everybody. 20 seconds done. Thirty done. All right. More than halfway now. We're not stopping though. Stay light on your toes. Come on, 15 seconds. You want to pick up some pace? All right, let's go. And are we done? Yes, we are done. Good job. All right. 
PPL2, bang on, right? Wow, heart rate up, mobilized, really ready. Now today's uh, session, push workout, right? We're gonna work on your chest, your shoulders and triceps. And I've got some ab workout as well. But what training method are we gonna be using today? And that's another you know, variable that you should look, watch out for, okay? It's gonna be very interesting. Today we're gonna go all unilateral. Most of the movements you will be unilateral, which means single side training. And why do we do unilateral training? Because most of us have got muscle imbalances. We wanna address those. We wanna make sure that we strengthen both sides equally, all right? If not in today's session, but over a period of time, sustainability, right? Okay, so the first one we have is going to be uh, a bodyweight movement, but I'm gonna keep that close as well because the next one we're gonna be hitting is with a dumbbell, all right? And we're gonna hit three movements in the first segment, which is your chest block, chest workout. Staggered push-up, then we're gonna hit your single arm dumbbell floor press. Along with that, we're gonna hit some dumbbell flies. Now, the dumbbell flies will be with both sides. The staggered push-up, how do we do this? We're gonna get onto the floor now. I'm gonna keep one arm away from my shoulder, from my chest. The, left, the right arm is staying under my shoulder. I'm gonna target more of the right side, okay? One, two, three, like this. Scale down option, of course. One, two, three, all right? So that's the way to do the staggered push-up. We're gonna hit four rounds of this, 30 seconds each. Okay, and once we're done with four sets, we move on to the next workout. Once we do the second one with four sets, then we move on to the third one. So this is typically like a bodybuilding kind of a uh, uh, you know, routine that we're gonna follow, but at the same time, we're gonna ensure that we stay functional with certain movements, okay? So staggered push-up is coming up. We're gonna hit four sets back to back with some rest time in between the movements, okay? 15 seconds in between the movements. All right, let's go in three, two, and one. Scale down, knees down. Scaled up, knees up. Head to heel in one line, elbow slightly angled towards the rib cage. And we're targeting, targeting your chest muscles, so your elbow should come on top of the palm, okay? When your chest is close to the floor. And done. We're gonna quickly rest for 15 seconds, and then we move on to the left side of it, okay? Left side, four rounds of this. That was the first round. Second round, we're starting in just about five seconds. Get ready, guys. Get ready, in position, all right, three, Two and one. Excellent, come on. Remember, your elbow should be on top of the palm at this point, all right? Knees down for the scale down. You feel your form is going bad. You're kind of like struggling. It's okay to keep your knees down and do this. Five more seconds to go. And done, wow. Okay, so two rounds done. We're gonna rest for a bit and then we hit the next two rounds as well. All right, Ooh. we're gonna take a little longer because our chest body needs a little time to recover from the first two rounds. So this time we're gonna take 30 seconds breather. All right, and between the third and the fourth, we're gonna keep it 15 seconds, wow super shocking the body, right? And that is how muscle growth happens. Okay, let's go in three, two, and one. 30 seconds. Feel free to mix it up, guys. With the knee down, knee up. It's okay to scale. Just keep going. All right, taking a look at a clock. We got about eight seconds to go. And that's done, 15 seconds. Quick recovery. 
Boy, am I glad I have this towel. <laughs> All right. Okay, come on, come on. Be ready, be ready. We got about six seconds to go. All right. And let's start. 30 seconds, last round. Breathe out on top. Whoa. Wow. Come on. Knees down. Just resting a few seconds there. It's getting tough, but we'll get this. We'll get this, all right? Come on. Almost there. And there you are. Wow. Okay. So we're done with the first block in the chest block we're done with the first movement okay we're gonna hit three right so the first one is done we're gonna pick up your dumbbell now okay we're gonna hit single arm floor press all right now i'm gonna start off with a little lightish weight 10 kilos and since we have four rounds each round i'll try to go a little heavier and uh, the third and fourth, I think I might finish with about 20 kilos on one side. If you don't have that heavy, it's okay, all right? All you still got to make sure is perform the movement proper, all right? It's all about quality, right? You know all of this by now, quality over quantity. All right, so let's do this. How do we set up for the movement? All right. <sighs> Lie down, knees bent. I'm going to start off with my right arm and in an extended position. The head of the, the, dumb, the dumbbell is right above my chest, the sternum, all right? From here, I'm gonna drop lower in control. Elbow does not touch the floor. <sighs> Breathe out. <sighs> 30 seconds over here, all right? Now, 30 seconds means you have, you can plan your reps. Eight reps to 12 reps to 14 reps. Okay, if the weight is lighter, try to get 14 reps. If it is too heavy, eight reps, all right? Six also if it is super heavy by the end of the, you know, third or fourth set, yeah? So let's begin this, guys. 30 seconds, then we rest 15 and go to the other side. Starting in three, two, and one. Let's go. <sighs> Elbow is slightly below the line of the shoulder. <sighs> and as you... Push your weight up towards the ceiling. You breathe out. You exhale. Nice. Keep going. Last rep. And I'm going to switch side. 30 seconds over here, but we're going to take about 15 seconds to recover. I'm feeling good lying down on this mat. And this is a nice way to recover. Right, I'm just kidding. The, this is not the most optimum way, but because we're going to hit the chest workout, we are in this position. All right, let's go. Okay, so you're taking about two seconds to lower, all right, and then push about one second up. The weight is kind of light, so I'm able to hit a lot of reps, but, you know, second, third set, those reps are going to reduce for sure because the load is going to increase. And done. Okay, so that was the first set. We're going to rest for 30 seconds and then move on to the second set. And I'm going to go a little heavy. 15 kilos. All right. Okay, so this is how we're going to play with uh, PPL2 load variable load okay five seconds we have let's begin in three two and one all right squeeze on top and breathing very important all right good stuff good stuff six reps done Last 10 seconds now. And good. All right, I'm going to keep the weight on the other side. 
We're going to rest 15 seconds and move for 30 seconds, which will begin in just about five. All right, so get ready. Set your weight up. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Squeeze on top, head of the dumbbell right on top of your chest, elbow slightly below the line of the shoulder. Ten seconds left now. Let's try to get about two more reps. And three, two, one, done. Okay, so two sets. We are done with two sets. We're feeling good. We're feeling a nice pump on your chest. Of course, the first movement that we did, the staggered push-up, that kind of activated a lot of your chest fibers, the muscle fibers in your chest. And this movement is really, really optimizing results of that muscular pump that you can expect from PPL. All right? Oof. Round number three, set number three, coming up. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. All right, now this is heavy. I want to focus on quality reps. I want to make sure that my form is right. Incorrect form. Mix that up with fatigue. It's a recipe for injuries. So you got to check that form. Last rep. And switch. All right. Wow, set number three, feeling it in the chest, really. All right, so we got about six seconds, five seconds now. Set up the weight, keep it on top, get ready, three, two, and one. Okay. Nice work. That's five reps for me. Keep going, keep going. Balance, steady, it's all in the breathing. One last rep, and done. Okay, and just like that team, three rounds done. And this is the second movement of chest block. After this, we've got your flies left, but we still have one more set on the single arm floor press. Okay, just keeping the weight ready, setting it up nice. Oh, all right, we're feeling good, aren't we all? I am, I am, and I'm sure that, you know, a lot of feedback that we got from season one, we're just building on that. All right, let's go, guys. Three, two, and one. Last set. Okay, just focus. Take all that attention on that movement towards the muscle that you're targeting, your chest muscles, and focus on breathing. 10 more seconds. Come on. Last rep. And switch. 15 seconds recovery. All right, so remember the rep range. Lightweight, medium weight, 12 to 14. Heavy-ish, eight, 10, six, okay? Three, two, and one. Let's go. Excellent, come on. I'm trying to resist resting the elbow on the floor. Yeah, 10 more seconds. Keep going, come on, come on, come on. You got this. And that was the last rep. Wow. Okay. Now let's recover for a bit. Let's walk around. Get the lightest pair of dumbbells that you have because this movement would need light weights, okay? Working with 7.5, if you have 2.5, 3, even five kgs would definitely work. Remember, movement is definitely, uh, you know, the, the quality of movement is definitely better than having a lot of load 
in the weights that you're going to carry. All right? So let's focus on that movement pattern. The dumbbell flies, it's going to be for your inner chest. All right? So we pick up both and elbows extended. This is your position. Knees bent, of course, from here. We're going to drop in control, keeping your elbows slightly bent. And slow, all right? About three seconds to finish one rep. So you're targeting 10 reps in these 30 seconds. Okay, we're ready to begin this. Let's go in three, two, and one. In control, exhale on top. Okay, so for those who've done PPL1, right, you would have noticed already the little difference uh, in this session as you compare to all the other sessions in PPL1. Here we are hitting all the same movement for the required number of reps and sets or time. Then we move on to the next movement. It's not like a circuit style anymore, all right? But yeah, I mean, we'll get those as well, the circuit style of training. But here, we're really focusing on one particular movement. Hit that for four sets or three sets, and then we move on to the next. We're almost done. Three, two, one, and we are good. Okay, so for the next three sets, I'm gonna face this side to make it, you know, to give you a different, uh, you know, camera angle as well. <laughs> make it more static. All right, 15 seconds recovery done. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Focus on breathing. Exhale on top. Remember the elbow position below the line of the shoulder joint. Last five seconds, last rep. Okay. All right, team, two sets done. We're gonna rest a little longer now. We rest, we're, gonna, we're gonna rest for about 30 seconds. And you know, in bodybuilding also, or any hypertrophy routine mixed with strength program, the rest interval is not always the same, okay? It depends on your, the fatigue that you're feeling as well. Uh, we're not lifting too heavy a load over here, all right? So the rest duration can be a little shorter. I'm gonna increase for the third and the fourth set. All right, let's go in three, two, and one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Third set. Focus on that inner chest, all right? Resist. Okay, the load is giving resistance to this movement. You've got to control that, all right? You can do this. Good form. Last rep and done. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna rest for 30 seconds. If you all want to take a quick sip of water, make sure that you do that. All right, just a wee bit. Wipe off that sweat as well. And all my friends are here, the dumbbells, the towel, the, you know, the water bottle, the mat, and a solid attitude, right? That's what we need. Okay, up for the last set, go. Elbows bent. All right, about five reps done. Six, come on, seven with me, eight, Nine, last one, and 10, okay. All right, so let's just stop for a bit. Let's, let's understand what our body is going through. Nice pump, of course, but you know, muscular development is happening already, yeah? Micro tears on the muscle, and that is going to result in great hypertrophy. Okay, so 
Um, the chest block is done. We are gonna move to the next muscle group that we're gonna focus in the push muscle group, the shoulder muscles, all right? And for the shoulders, we have three movements. We're gonna start off with a single arm shoulder press. Okay, we're gonna hit for four rounds. Then we're gonna hit alternating front raises to really isolate your deltoids, the anterior, the front deltoids. And after that, I've got this movement called the Scott press. Okay, so whenever we do an upward movement of the press, right? It's not only your shoulders that's you know, working, but even your triceps. So this time we're gonna take that tricep up, off and really, really focus on the head of the deltoid. All right, three movements. The first one for four rounds. The second one, we're gonna hit for three rounds. And the last one, we're gonna do three rounds as well. Okay, so for the single arm shoulder press, we're gonna do the standing. Now, this is your setup, okay? Nice and tall. You're gonna keep that head of the dumbbell next to your ear, all right? Just in line with the ear or just below the ear. And a little ahead, not behind, but a little ahead of the shoulder so that you do not have any unnecessary strain on your shoulder joint. From here, we're gonna press upward, keeping that core nice and tight. And the dumbbell line, okay, should be over your head and by the ear as you bring it down, okay? 30 seconds of this, guys. We're gonna switch. Uh, with 15 seconds interval between the right and left. I'm gonna start with the left side. You ready? Let's go do this, all right? Three, two, and one. Breathe out on top. Nice. All right, keep going. Halfway there. Focus on that core the torso almost there and done 15 seconds recovery and then we switch sides so round one round two round three round four which means each round alternating you are gonna hit alternate sides all right guys get ready three two and one one two Three, four, feeling strong, yeah? Come on, let's do this. Five, six, seven, keep going, keep going. Eight, 10, done. 12, come on, two more. 13, last one, and 14, okay. Now we're gonna rest. 30 seconds we will take to recover and then we hit the next round. <sighs> All right, halfway there guys. For the next round, for the next set, uh, second set, I'm gonna hit with 10 kilos, the third and the fourth, I'm gonna go a little heavy. All right, so get ready guys. Three, two, and one, let's go. One, two, Three, trying to hit about 14 reps here again. And you have 30 seconds to do that. Now don't let me dictate the rep range over here, okay? You should go by what you have, the amount of weight, how long you've been in a training. And done, okay? And based on that, you decide what rep range is good, okay? Um, six to 14, that's good. Heavy, six. Light, medium, 12 to 14, that's good. All right, three, two, and one. Let's go finish round number two, set number two. I think, you know, when I started this movement, I kind of explained that, you know, one, two, three, four, and we are done, but it's not like that. We have to hit both sides, and that completes one set. Keep going, keep going. And done. All right. Done with the 10s. Thank you, 10s. Now I'm going to move on to 15s. All right.
We ready? All right, our body is ready, but the time is about 20 seconds. We still have 10 seconds, and that recovery is good for you because then you can completely focus this set now. All right, let's go. Get ready. Three, two, and one. Okay, this is a little tough, but we'll get this done. Focus on form, guys, focus on form. Remember, head of the shoulder in front of the, head of the dumbbell in front of the shoulder. Keep going. Last one, and done. Okay, keeping it down just to rest it out, shake off those arms and get ready. This is round number three. We're done with the left. We are gonna hit the right side now and feel that nice work on your deltoids. <laughs> Good pump. <sighs> All right, let's go. One, two, three, four. Good job, good job, come on. Five, we got this. Six, seven, eight, nine, come on, one more, and you can rest. All right, last one, guys. I'm gonna stick with the 15s. All right, now we've got four weeks, okay, so next time you hit a shoulder press, if you're doing the same movement, you can go a little heavier if you wish. But today, I'm gonna say to myself, I'm feeling a nice pump already, and I'm gonna stick with the 15s for the last set. All right, no ego lifting. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. That's one. And two. Come on. Halfway there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay, I'll hit one more. And then I'm gonna rest. Okay, the 30 second mark is done as well. All right, come on. Last set, right? We're still standing tall over here. We're still standing proud. We're still standing with a nice pump because we're ready to finish things off. Let's go. One, two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight. All right. Nine, one more, and 10. Okay, still have a few seconds. Finish off that rep, and then you can rest. Okay, three movements out of which one is done. We're gonna hit the front raises now. I'm gonna go light with this. Let me show you how we do this movement. All right, this is alternating. So you're gonna keep your dumbbells in front of you. All right, one, two, and no swing of the hip. Okay, strict, using the shoulder muscles, lift up, rest down here, lift up, rest down here, okay? <sighs> okay, so explanation is done. We're ready for three rounds, coming up in three, two, and one. Let's go. One, two, three, and four. Focus, five, six, seven, and eight, nice work, nice work, come on. Nine, and 10, <sighs> breathe out here. <sighs> One more, and done, all right. Keeping the weights down, gonna rest up. Now this one, we're gonna hit only for three rounds, all right? <sighs> really isolating the, the front deltoids, like I said, quick sip of water. We ready guys, 15 seconds, recovery time. 
All right, guys, five more seconds. Let's get ready with your weights. Round number two in three, two, and one. All right, let's go. One, two. Remember, you're in control. <sighs> Breathe out on top. Okay, now when you're doing this, if you feel that your shoulder blades are like this, you gotta open up, all right? Chest out. Good stuff. One more rep on the left, and we are good. All right, we are gonna rest again for 30 seconds, and then we hit the last round. For the last round, I'm gonna go a little heavy, 10 kilos, okay. All right, all right, all right. So this is day one, guys, right? Day one, push with abs. We're still in the push movement. We still have your triceps to do, and then we're gonna focus on your abs. And nice stretches to finish day one session of push with abs. All right, guys, let's get ready. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, doing well. Come on. You got this. Ten more seconds. Gonna hit a few reps. Last one. And we are good. Okay, congratulations to each one of you. From the push block, we are done with chest and shoulders. Now let's focus on your triceps, okay? Now a lot of us focus on biceps because they look good, right, when you're curling up, but you should not forget that biceps, two heads, by. Triceps, three, try. Which means if you focus on the tricep movement, your overhead press, your arms, are gonna look bigger, thicker, and more muscular or toned for some, right? So whatever you want to take from this message, what I'm trying to say is you got to focus on your tricep workout and we will do that now. Okay, we're ready for this, right? Taking a quick break, keep walking around, wipe off the sweat. And for the tricep block, we've got two movements only and we're going to hit three rounds on each. One is a single arm tricep extension. So from that behind position, behind the neck position to the overhead, all right? We're gonna hit three rounds of this, left and right, and then we're gonna hit some tricep kickbacks. Let's show you how we do the, the first one. So first thing first, take it overhead first, all right? And then slowly lower, this is your setup, okay? Behind the neck. So this is how you're gonna start from here. We are gonna extend upward. Okay, 30 seconds, really slow, in control, and you can feel your tricep head get in a good stretch, and that's how we're gonna target this muscle. Okay, we're ready? Three, two, and one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, good, come on, come on. Six, seven, eight nine and ten okay i'm gonna slowly lower 15 seconds recovery and then i'm gonna move to the other side about 10 seconds to go get ready guys three two and one let's start one two three Okay, four, nice, the elbow stays in one place, all right, doesn't move. Okay, it's that palm holding the dumbbell, doing all the work. Good, good, come on, come on, come on. Let's do this. One last rep and done, okay? The first round is done. We got two more rounds. We're gonna rest for 30 seconds. Ah. Okay, push workout is always, always great. Some of the movements that we do on push workout, the chest press, the shoulder workout, and of course, focusing on some tricep movements, really great, uh, you know, movement patterns, and helps you a lot 
and get in that upper body strength, right? A lot of push movements that we do daily as well. It's very functional, all right? So having said that, guys, round number two coming up. Get ready, three, two, and one. If you look at all the, the movement pattern, the fundamentals of movement, right? We've got the push movement, like, you know, we're showing right now. So if you punch, that's a push, right? You throw a ball, that's a push. Very athletic as well. And then you can focus on the pull pattern as well. All right, 15 seconds recovery. Lifting something from the floor, pulling yourself up. Right? Those are all pull movements. Imagine you're, you're trekking or you know, you're, you're doing a wall climbing right? event. Now that is all upper body strength, the pull strength that you get, the grip strength that you get you know, from doing heavy deadlifts as well. That's gonna help. All right, so move to the other side. Let's go. And of course on the legs, you've got your squat, you've got your hinge and your lunge pattern as well. Deadlifts, hinge. Come on, let's keep focusing. Breathe out on top, last rep. And just like that, two rounds done, okay? All right, shake it off. Feeling good, feeling good, okay? Come on, come on. Two rounds, last round, and then the last movement of the, uh, of the tricep block, all right? Come on, let's get this done. Let's get this done, five seconds to go. And let's go. Excellent, come on. Focus, all right. On that movement, elbow stays in one place. Think about all of this when you're doing the workout. And 15 seconds recovery. All right, almost there guys. One tricep movement left, one shoulder movement. We're gonna superset those two as the last, all right? The last block will be a mix of shoulder and your tricep. Come on, let's go. Three done, four. Okay, now don't worry about the rep count. Make sure that every rep that you hit is top quality. With this load on the overhead position, your stability will be challenged. You gotta focus on that. Last one, and at the same time, you're really focusing on making sure that your tricep head is contracting and it is also expanding, right? Okay, so three rounds done. Now, from the shoulder block, we've got the squat press remaining, and from the tricep block, we've got kickbacks remaining. So we're gonna mix these two and finish off today's workout before we hit the ab movement. All right, so when we started, <laughs> you know, all the dumbbells were that side, now it's, it's all cluttered over here, but that's all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly move it off and just reorganize. All right, so for the squat press, I'm gonna go a little light, starting with 7.5s. I'm gonna stick with these. All right, so. This is your starting position, not your shoulder press, but it's inward. The head of the, the inside of the dumbbells is inward towards the shoulder. From here, I'm just gonna press up and taking away that focus from the tricep and really bringing your attention on your deltoid. That's the first movement. Then along with this, we're gonna hit tricep kickbacks in a bent over position, single arm, all right? Do this, 15 seconds, and then 15 seconds on the other side. Three rounds, we'll do this. And in between the movements, we're gonna rest very little amount of time, all right? Let's go, let's go. Starting in three, two, 
and one. 30 seconds of work. Four. Remember that the tricep head is facing inward. And sorry, the, the dumbbell head. All right, too much tricep work in the mind. Okay, 10 more seconds. Almost done. Last rep. And relax. All right. Super set. Minimal rest. Let's go with kickbacks. Bend over position starting in three, two, one. Let's go. One, two. Remember, 15 seconds only. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and switch. One, two, three, come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that is the end of the first one. Two rounds more to go, guys. Let's do this. Then we focus on your abdomen, okay? 15 seconds to go before we hit the second round. Get ready, get ready. Come on. Eight seconds. Nice countdown, right? Five seconds. Okay, three, two, and one. Let's go up, up. You know, just to share some insights from the first season. A lot of positive, positive feedback on how each one of you have done season one, went through good, solid change, you know, toned up arms and, you know, complete change in your body, metabolism, feeling good, and, you know, weight loss on the scale as well. Let's move to the tricep one. Okay, let's go. But overall, getting fitter, getting more confident. All right, so that is important. And that happened in two weeks. And you know, some of you obviously repeated uh, the first week and the second week again, maybe two times, three times. And that's how it should be, right? With load as the factor. Switch, which means you know, if you can increase the load when you're repeating it for the second time or the third time, that's great. Almost there and done. Okay, two rounds done. Now this time, four weeks with recovery stretches, full body Metcon workout, metabolic conditioning workout. This is gonna be a game changer, guys. Stick till the end, make sure that you eat clean, all right? I mean, you don't have to have like solid, super, you know, superhero kind of a diet. Make sure whatever you're eating, you're mindful about it. Not too much sugar, not too much salt and oil and everything, all right? Make sure your protein count is high as well. And just the basics, all right? Just stick with that. Let's go. Last round. And why am I saying all of this? Because, you know, I believe that I myself, right? I just have to make sure that I just watch what I eat, but I try to eat as much as, uh, you know, as many things as you know, what the, what the world can provide, right? What nature can provide. Just be a little mindful. Don't overdo things. And that's it. And done. Even if you wanna eat sweets, if you wanna you know, get uh, your weekend quota of beers or whiskey or whatever, it's all right. Do it, but do it moderately. And you know this from choose to lose as well. You know, if you've done that program, I've spoken about it. All right, so let's go. Last one. 15 seconds here. Come on. Five more seconds. Three, two, last one, and let's switch. Come on, team. Last one for the road. Yeah, let's go. You're feeling that pump on your triceps for sure on that shoulders with this Two movements as a solid finisher on this push day, and we are done. All right, okay, well done, guys. Well done, super job. 
but we're not done as yet because we still have your ab workout left from today's uh, push, pull, and abs. Or, uh, yeah, push and abs rather. Okay. Now, um, three movements. Let's take a look at what we have. We've got mountain climbers, we've got Russian twist, and side plank as well. Okay, now, before we get onto that, what is push-pull legs all about? We established that it will help you, you know, uh, get lean muscle for sure, get stronger, of course, improved uh, bone density, because when you do resistance training, when you do weight training, that is what you get. Along with that, along with that, if, if the weight is right, if the rep range is right, you'll have increased muscle size as well. Which means if there is any sort of you know, fat accumulated, that kind of cuts away and makes room for lean muscle mass. So if you feel that you're, you know, you're toning down, but you don't see any change in the weight right on the weighing scale, it still means that you are improving. Just that all the fat has turned into lean muscle now. Which, which is great, right? Your clothes from four or five years back, it fits you. And that is, that is such a good thing. Okay, now let's take a look at what we have for the abs. Let me face this side. All right, so mountain climbers. Wow, so in a plank position, 30 seconds. Right knee up to the chest, back, left knee up to the chest, back. And we just go into a nice rhythm and we settle into this nice rhythm, focusing on exhale. Okay, so that's 30 seconds. Then from here, we will do Russian twist. All right, for the Russian twist, you will get into around a 45 degree angle with your torso, knees bent slightly, go from one side to the other, 30 seconds. And to finish things off, we're gonna hit side plank, 30 seconds. All right. Any scaled movement, I will show you as well. All right, so 30 seconds here and quickly switch over 30 seconds on the other side. We're ready for this. We're gonna hit two rounds of all these three movements and that is how we're gonna finish your ab workout. Mountain climbers coming up, all right. On the scale down, just go a little slow step at a time. All right, three, two, one, go. Okay, your back is flat. Now, mountain climbers is not only focusing on your abdomen, but because you're moving fast, your heart rate is going to get elevated. So you got a conditioning element as well. Almost there and done. 15 seconds, quick recovery. And then we're gonna hit your Russian twist. Now for the Russian twist, you can choose to keep one leg down and do the scale down variation as well. If you wanna scale this up further, you can use dumbbell and do the Russian twist. Let's go. Totally your choice. Nice. 10 seconds done. Almost there. Last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, side plank, guys. 15 seconds, quick recovery. Side plank coming up. Now on the side plank, you can always keep one foot forward and hold that plank. In three, two, and one, let's go. 30 seconds, one side, elbow in line with your shoulder. All right, back of the head, your spine in one straight line. Hip up, halfway there. Almost there guys, almost there, come on. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna switch. Quickly, three, two, one, and up. Wow, a lot of work on the shoulders, a lot of work on the tricep as well to finish that. And in the beginning, do you remember what we did? The staggered push-up, that was brilliant. 
And then the single arm floor press, amazing stuff. All right, we got 10 more seconds, stay balanced. Come on, you got this. Three, two, one. Wow. Oh, kind of struggling with that because a lot of work on the shoulders, right? Okay, but we still will get this. Come on. Last round, we're gonna get with your first start off with your mountain climbers. Starting in three, two, and one. Let's go. 30 seconds here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there, almost there. He got this. Three, two, one. All right, a quick sip of water, guys, and then Russian twist and your side plank, and we're done. But let's get some stretches as well. Okay, Russian twist, come on. Let's go, three, two, one. Avoid rotating too much, okay? Chin straight. 10 more seconds. done and that's it with your Russian twist let's finish off with your side plank we ready Whew. all right five seconds to go now three two and one let's go slipping a bit all right got this One hand up as well, you can keep it on the hip. If you're going out of balance, it's really okay to keep that leg hanging there. Still feeling nice work over here. Five more seconds, guys. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Quickly switch. Last one, guys, last one. Let's go. Taking a look at the clock. 10 seconds done, guys. That's brilliant. Almost there, guys. 10 more seconds. You got this. Three, two, one. Whoa. All right, guys. Good stuff. Done with all the movements, done with the ab workout. Now we're gonna finish things off with some stretches. But before we get into the stretches, guys, you know, just wanna say that um, whatever we get to do in our daily lives, we should be thankful for that, right? And you know, whatever has happened in the past two, three years, the pandemic has put that into perspective, really, because just, just to get out in, on a weekend, just to go to a gym, whenever you felt like, it's like a luxury now, right? So whatever you can get, whatever that you can do, the little things, make sure that you do that well and you should be thankful for that. And that's what I believe in at this point in time, all right? And that's what I'm learning as well. Okay, so on that note, let's start with your stretches. The first one is gonna be a kneeling pec stretch. So I'm gonna be in a tall kneeling position. This is your tall kneeling, or you can just relax with your butt down and you're gonna interlock your fingers behind and open up the chest and hold it there for 30 seconds. All right, we're ready? Three, two, and one. Okay, just focus on breathing now. Really, really trying to push those palms behind. Okay. 10 more seconds to go, guys. 10 more seconds. Three, 
two, one. Next up, we've got thread the needle, but we lie down and do this. Okay, so just make sure that you lie down completely first. Left palm up, right arm under the back of the elbow on the floor. And you put the weight on the shoulder. 30 seconds here, let's go. Now this is super relaxing. We'll make sure that, you know, you're feeling that stretch on the deltoid, on the shoulder muscle over here. So whenever you do your chest workout, some part of the movement always hits your shoulder, all right? So in the push workout, we kind of combine the secondary, the primary movers, the secondary muscles, primary muscles. So your chest block has change in our shoulder. Your push has your shoulder, your chest, and your tricep. Just think about it, when you do a chest press, when you do a push-up, your triceps are also getting some workout. Shoulders are also getting some workout. Okay, just taking a look at the time. 10 more seconds. Now this has been a great, great day one. Great session. Almost there. Yeah, there you go. All right, we'll do Sphinx pose here, okay? Keep your palms down, elbows down, and then lift your chest up. 30 seconds here, guys. If you feel you don't feel much of a stretch, you can lift your elbow up and get into a baby cobra. 30 seconds here. Last 10 seconds coming up. Three, two, and one. Okay, from here we're gonna transition into a child's pose. Keep your hips behind and lean forward, hold it there. All right, let's go, 30 seconds. Push your hips back. Focus on breathing. Nice. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, and to finish things up, we'll do the wrist stretch. So we're gonna start with your fingertips facing inward. 15 seconds there. Lean back. Three, two, one. Fingertips facing forward. Rock back and forth. Lean forward slowly. All right. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. And one, okay, shake it off, good stuff. Stand up tall, stand up proud and happy. And what, what a nice solid way to sweat it out, right? Great session with this push workout, ab workout, amazing stuff. Now, um, for more such amazing sessions, it is always there on the CultFit app, right? If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you download that CultFit app to get more programs like this, to get more sessions with me, with a host of other trainers and different, different workout formats as well. On that note, this is Rahul saying goodbye. See you in another session very soon. For more workout videos, download the CultFit app now and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, We Are Cult.